Hello guys, in this video we'll discuss raw pointers in Rust and when do we need it. In Rust, we usually work with references, immutable or mutable, which are safe and checked by compiler for lifetimes, which basically guarantees we are safely accessing the memory without any violations or unsafe access to the memory. Let's look at our first read-only raw pointer example. Now, if you have worked with C, C++, or any other similar programming languages which supports pointers, you should know pointers are variables that store address of another value. In this example, R takes a read-only reference of number. And if we try to dereference, it gives us an error. And it says dereference of raw pointer is unsafe and requires an unsafe function or block. Because remember in start we did discuss that while using mutable and immutable reference, we get all that compile time safety in Rust. But that's not true for raw pointers. Because, you know, we don't get all that uh, compile time safe access and stuff. So this could also lead to dangling references. Now let's try to create one. And before, if we wrap it in an unsafe block, as you guys can see, the error is gone. And we can safely run our program as well. As you can see, it prints the number 10. Let's look at this example. We have a read-only raw pointer. And then in a separate block, we have a string s and r points to s. And then the block is basically done, ended. And then in the unsafe, we try to dereference our pointer. Now, if you have worked with C, C++ or have a prior experience of working with pointers, you should by now know that this will be a dangling pointer. So let's try to run this. Boom, as you can see, it basically prints some garbage and it keeps on printing different value because the behavior is unspecified or unknown behavior. That's exactly what dangling pointer is. Because S goes out of the scope here when the block ends and then Rust doesn't guarantee us any safety for uh, while dereferencing pointers. That's why we need this unsafe block and because this is the reason why we need unsafe block because the memory you are trying to access might not exist and Rust doesn't guarantee you that for pointers. That's why we run into this issue. Instead, if we decide not to use pointers, as you can see, at compile time, Rust gives me an error saying S does not live long enough. Borrowed value does not lo live long enough. So basically, we are uh, safe by that lifetime and borrow checking. So boom, this because this scope ends and if I try to print, uh, it's used later and basically the reference is already uh, done ended. So that's what Rust saves us from, uh, but definitely that's not possible with raw pointers. Similarly, in another example here, we have read-only raw pointer as well as read-write raw pointer. So we try to print first and the number and then in the unsafe block, we dereference, we, you know, mutate it. And similarly, if we run, it should work perfectly fine because we are following what is said, which is basically dereferencing in an unsafe block. Now let's look at when do we actually need raw pointers in Rust. So the first use case is when working with C functions in Rust. But here also, remember the rule of thumb is always go for safe references first. But if in your use case that you are working with requires you this manual memory management and using the pointers only then, because remember in this example, you are working across two programming languages. C, where your program part exists, and then you have Rust, and then you, you know, create a link library and then work with your Rust program. So this is one of those cases when you can use raw pointers. Or you want to build a manual link list with no ref cell for interior mutability. Now, what is ref cell? We have already discussed in tons of previous videos, should be popping somewhere on right top, ref cell, cost cell, make sure to check it out. So right here, as you can see, we for interior mutability, we are using pointers instead of ref cell. And then again, you have this option of uh, null mutable or null pointer. So that's what we have here in uh, as an example where we can use, uh, you know, pointers. And if we try to run this, it works perfectly fine. Node one and then node two, we are a raw pointer. So as you can see, right here we get node one dot value and then from node one we try to access node two and if we change the same example with a ref cell instead of pointers for interior mutability this is how it looks like exactly same example and would run the same 
so well, that's it for this video guys i hope you guys learned something new if you do like the video share with your friends but i would highly recommend you guys stick with the self references only use pointers if you're building something raw something uh, where you need manual memory management that's it